Americans are finding it harder to be happy with the Surgeon General calling loneliness and isolation national epidemics. So how can we fight these trends? An expert at Virginia Tech is exploring ways you can change your mood and find more joy. Here now to help us with our pursuit of happiness is Dr. Samantha Hardin. We're so happy to have you here and what a great topic to start with. Yeah, I am happy to be here. Good, I'm so glad because like we just said, happiness, it's becoming harder to find for people. Um, when you hear some of those warnings about this being an epidemic, what goes through your mind? Well, first of all, that you're not alone, right? Because this social isolation and loneliness makes us think, you know, I should be happier. And then we start shooting on ourselves. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I should probably not have said that. <laughs> but what I find is that um, the data suggests that we're on this U-shaped curve where the youngest of us and the oldest of us are most happy. And those of us who are mid-career, mid-life, and in the middle of it are just really not flourishing or mm -hmm. finding that sense of happiness. And that's tough to here too because there are so many things that should bring us joy but it's hard to it's hard to find those and really grasp onto them at times as well so um, you work as a physical health expert you work with the human nutrition foods and exercise department with Virginia Tech really how does this physical aspect combine with that emotional mental aspect too what kind of correlation do you see and what would you want to tell people about that Absolutely. So they are inextricably linked. Mm -hmm. And so we have our emotional health, our social health, our physical health. And in fact, we're the most biophilic species on the planet. So we need to get outside, we need to move, and we can do that together. And for those of you who might not be physically near loved ones, you can put in your headphones and talk to somebody while you're moving around your neighborhood or your home. So just keep moving, preferably outside when you can, especially during our summer season, mm -hmm. and just take slow incremental steps um, towards your health. And so they are absolutely linked and it is for holistic well-being, not just for what we often think about with weight management or weight loss. This is about holistic well-being. I think that's important to emphasize too and you mentioned somewhere in your research also that no matter the type of movement it is valuable and it's helpful whether it's gardening or something very simple like taking a walk with a phone conversation too. Absolutely. So we have uh, through the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention a Move Your Way campaign. So just like you said, it could be gardening, throwing a frisbee with your dog, literally anything. And I think we have these myths around what exercise or physical activity should or could look like. Mm -hmm. And it could be as fun as going down the slip and slide in Lynchburg coming yeah. up at the end of the month. So just keep moving and preferably where you can in community and that's why a lot of you know studios and physical activity spaces or even apps are having so much success because people love accountability and support mm -hmm. and they love having a community too we're seeing it in these photos too it brings people together it makes you feel better when you know you're being supported as well um, there's also this interesting thing called blue zones I want to learn more about this because Natalie and I talk about this every once in a while tell us what blue zones are and what we can really learn about these areas of the world yeah. Yeah, so they were explored as the five regions in the in the world where the people live the longest and they're living long healthful lives because they feel like they have a sense of purpose, they have a sense of community, they move outside every day, they consume fruits and vegetables, and, they, and they're moving their bodies. And so as you probably heard in that, that's everything we just talked about, and that's why Human Nutrition Foods and Exercise is my home, because that's where I'm seeing that it's, again, thinking about all of these behaviors that work together. And in the Blue Zones in specific, I, I do want to highlight is that they have that social connection connection. Any book you read, anything, uh, there's so many, you know, just fun books that I've been reading and every single one ends with, we need to feel like we're connected mm -hmm. and that we're not alone. And so, you know, it's the antidote. So being connected can help us feel more happy and live longer and healthier lives. And that sounds so beautiful too, being able to have that connection and then seeing the benefits of it as well. Um, I know you have lots of resources for people um, through your research website and everything. What would you want somebody to know if you, they wanted to connect with you? Well, one of the other hats I wear is that I am a specialist within Virginia Cooperative Extension and Cooperative Extension exists in every state and territory in the US and we have community-based health educators available to give 
myriad programs. It could be educational, it can be online. So check those out. And so my lab develops physical activity resources for Virginia Cooperative Extension. So if you're interested, we have things like infographics on how to move more, sit less. We also have full programs such as our lift program that's for eight weeks, twice a week, doing strength training in a group or a community. So lots of resources there. And very accessible too. Like you said, you make sure that people can have access to this information. All right, we have a, a link to that lab right there on our page and also on WDBJ7.com. Also, Dr. Hardin has a great podcast, Higher Vibrations and Higher Education, talking about ways to kind of think about these goals that people have too. So I think that's really powerful. Um, check it out and be able to connect with Samantha. We're so happy you were here and thanks for stopping by. Yeah.